you're just muted on my stream until I figure out otherwise. So cool. Too bad. And here we are. Hey, everybody. What's up? Uh, Sulkin Raven. Thanks for oh, joining hey. us. That's um, Kevin. How's oh, it going? who is it? <laughs> Kevin the cat. Oh, hey, Kevin. What's up, Kev? Um, Logan. We're sorry, Danicolo. Oh. The cat is different. I just went through like a mind twitch from someone I was talking to earlier. I hate when that happens, especially when you talk to like four people that are named Kyle on the same day and you're like, well, you're all just Kyle now. That's just how it is. You become thing one, thing two, thing three. Yes. Um, Logan, do you want to tell friends about who you are, uh, that stuff? Uh, we're going to be, and yeah, just tell them about what we're doing today and what's going on, who you are. Sure. Uh, I am Logan Ferber, a designer and illustrator who is now creative director and or chief creative officer technically at Clay Design. It's yeah. a small agency with my wife, Sarah, who also does design. Um, and we helped out with Canceled Con and are here now helping more for the next round of things, which uh, has been a ton of fun. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, the next one's coming up um, July 11th and 12th. I don't know if it's like publicly announced, but it's kind of on the website, you can figure it out. So it's on July 11th and 12th. Mark your calendar, set a timer. Um, it's gonna be launching and it's gonna be super fun. Today we're working on the website. So we're gonna be in XD a little bit and moving over to Webflow. Uh, Which I am, I have not touched Webflow in a chunk of time. Yep. So it'll be fun to like re, re experience it. Yeah, I'm excited. Um, and if you're watching and you work at Webflow and know people at Webflow, um, have them sponsor us. Okay. Um, Adobe Webflow. Yeah. Uh, all right. So I'm gonna hop over, I'm actually gonna move this window over here don't do it how am i capturing right now it's funny i'm using different setups for each time that i stream and i'm like okay it's working oh. but i don't know how it's working oh you're that's on another, not the right one though you're i'm trying to see if camera two but there's a third camera oh camera three and that's the one i'm trying to find oh Whoa -ho. there's so it many cameras i know it works for uh my streaming thing but it doesn't look like it likes it here Let's see if it pulls up. Uh, if we go to my screen when I go to, uh, let's see here. This one? Yeah. All right, cool. Let's get you over in the corner too. Yeah, I don't matter that much. It's fine. But I want you floating. I want you to float like within uh, where we are. All right. And oh, wow. then let's paste. Up oh, and back. There he is. There's the man of the hour. Yep. I'm really thinking about shaving the end parts of this mustache off. Oh, no, do it. No, no, no. Hold on. How far does it go? Oh, yeah, you should. Yeah, you should. I'm definitely a proponent. Like a... You should do it a little higher, though. Like a mid-level cut straight across to make it just super weird. Just like a super mid-level. Should I try this without the headset and see if people on my side can hear things? Oh, yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Get your, yeah. Get your stuff dialed in. See what they're thinking. Um, I'll entertain the people here uh there's only five of them hello five friends thanks for thanks for hanging out um logan's gonna do some tech stuff we're gonna hang out actually i'll show you guys as we go um let's just hop in here i literally just lost my mouse there it is um i'll show you what we're working on so we've been working on the canceled con website um doing some splash pages some logo explorations um logan came up with this incredible amazing thing we did a version that is completely blacked out on red um we're trying to focus on the red as the dominant color this time because last time everything was white so we're trying to do a uh, super bright red for cancel con 2 for the second one um hello allison what's up uh how is your how are your people do they hear you uh I'm, I'm can camera. people hear andrew on my end Oh yeah, people. Oh yeah, can can you hear me on Logan's end? <clears throat> and actually, I might go over there and see. Um, but I'll keep talking here. Um, if you're in Logan's chat, so Logan, everyone, uh, hello, Marissa. Uh, if you are in Logan's chat, Logan is streaming on Behance as well. I'm streaming here on YouTube. So if you're on Behance, uh, we're trying to check if you can hear me. If you're here, you can hear me and Logan. Um, and we are going over the canceled con website. I'm going to keep talking until Logan says something because uh, well, that chat something. is about a minute and a half behind. Um, so they'll be, they'll be hearing this very late and seeing if they can hear me. <laughs> um, 
So we're working on the CancelCon website. We worked on some initial ideas that we're going to start implementing today, working in Adobe XD. Um, we have our little email list plugin that I think is kind of cool. And then I love the idea that we're working with sponsors. We're just going to black them out. Um, we have some sponsors, but not a lot yet. So we're trying to have the entire website be redacted, basically. Um, and then we'll start revealing details as we go. Ooh, scandalous. Is it? I don't know. It could be like we could make it scandalous. Um, sure. Yeah, I just don't want to get banned from YouTube. Like, I we can make it kind of scandalous, but not too scandalous. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah. Um. So. Well, yeah. There we go. So we're working on all these things. We had some like uh, messing around with some pop outs, kind of widgets. Uh, for a Q and A, and then we're gonna take this over into Webflow and start building it out. Um, I think this is a version um, that we had been working on as like a, this will be interesting. And I think it was like semi-final version. Um, it's all semi-final. What? It's all semi-final. Yes. It's always all semi-final until it's final. <laughs> until it's done. Then you're like, oh my gosh, it's done. Uh, the sponsors we played around with, like these little icons, you think it's fun. Um, is it working on your side? Yeah, my XD like forgot itself. And oh, okay. It's, so, yeah, cool. Uh, and we'll be able to see Logan. Um, for those on my stream, you'll be able to see Logan kind of bouncing around here, working on stuff with me. Um, if you want to see Logan's side, you can also hop over to his stream on Behance. Uh, it is just Logan uh, Faber. Mm -hmm. Ferber. Ferber. Sorry. I know it's so it's so whack. Yes, uh, and his link is right next to. It's right above me, right here. Um, Logan, if you want to point to your right, that way, no, a little bit other side, other side, there we go. And then higher, 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 right there. So that's Logan's, um, name. You can check him out and, uh, find it on Behance. <laughs> I love having to coach people <laughs> through like, okay, point. Okay. A little bit yeah, more. Right? It's like the, the weatherman kind of thing. Um, excited to see some web flow. So are we, we are exploring it and learning it as we go. Um, we're going to build an XD and then move over into web flow. We'll see how far we get today. Um, we've been talking with them a little bit and hopefully more about, um, doing some features to show off the features of Webflow. Oh, is this you that's selected over here? This little schedule? Me? There he is. Look at, there's, there's Logan. So Logan is on this XD document with us, which is really cool. XD is on the cloud. He's here. Um, he's selected a little letter you have, you have a letter selected. Um, and yeah. I don't even know where I am in this file. Can build out. You're in the final desktop V1. Um, I know I have the whole artboard. I think, yes. Yeah, I'm there. I'm totally in it. Uh, so we haven't started on the mobile version at all yet. Well, there's this trash fire that's to the right of it, which is the very beginnings of uh the mobile side. Yep. But uh, we didn't really do like a vertical version of anything. Not really, which is why we resorted to having con below canceled. Yeah. Um, which I think is still like. The way to go for this but i wonder guess, yeah i wonder man, if we do a three like a three line like can held oh, i'm gonna hate this so much is this an object but now we we're getting into like canceled con three that's true canceled con three will have three l's for sure is this a comp what is this just like an image that we brought I, in? oh yeah it's an image well you okay left. Um, yeah. Do we want to start and like nail down the desktop and then get to mobile after that? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. <laughs> I mean, we like, it's probably been two weeks since we touched the desktop. That's true. So I don't know if we even remember what kind of haze we had when doing this, but <laughs> make sure it's still good right now. Like this essentially is the placeholder website we have so we got part of it done yeah and i think that this once we start announcing guests and stuff i think we'll be fine okay so workshop so the nav i guess would be on the corners which would be cool um i think the guest list is cool for now and then we'll start adding in names there as we mm -hmm. can I'm guessing we just put these in as like images and like a three column. Uh, for the mobile one, or oh, sorry, for the desktop. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, because I think I, if we can check off the desktop, then we can just start converting. Yeah, so as a like reference back to some stuff, there was this kind of direction we were playing around with also. Where are but you? Since we don't know. Oh, I just went down. So to the previous designs where we oh. did all of our exploration and I have myself a lot. Oh, yeah. Um, there is this potentially when we get to a guest list or this, but. I wonder, do you think it would be cool to do. I mean, maybe once we start getting people to do headshots, um, cause we could do a headshot and just like try to find like a silhouette and then put it in there and then we like just use really bad avatars as our headshots. Hit it with that red. Yeah. Let's just do the list. Cause like for now, cause I think it will be way less crazy. And then this would be one, a good email blast with like all the images of like the guests with like these yeah. images and then we change it over on the site as well. Yeah, I think that that totally works. Okay. Cause this is like plenty simple to do, so. Yeah, um, I agree. And then email sign up. We kind of figured this out last time. I'm gonna switch this to a border just cause I think it looks better there. With the email? Do we vibe that? Sorry, I'm up top on the... Um, oh desktop v1 or whatever yeah this thing yeah yeah i mean whatever's gonna match this joining mailing list but we also like had whatever constraints previous yeah so i, I kind of have an impact on this too but i do like the chunky line oh i have literally had it on the screen of just us hold on oh, man i do this all the time oh no i'm sorry everyone there it is we can also get into this zone um, this is what we've been looking at. Oops. Oh yeah. My streamers see all the things except for you. Yeah, your streamers anyway. are seeing the right things. Mine are like in a horrendous zone of not seeing anything. Just your nose hairs. Just my nose hairs and me looking like over to the side awkwardly to look at you. <laughs> and looking up top. Cause I'm like, what's going on there? I mean, I feel like every streamer has this like position constantly where they're kind of looking off to the side. Yep. Almost Mona Lisa S. Oh yeah. Uh, the sponsors, I like this a lot until we start plugging people in. Yeah, then we'll hate it. We still need to build this sponsor deck. Um, I met with somebody today and I was like, we'll have a sponsor deck for you. <laughs> it's not, it doesn't exist. <laughs> And then the FA keep to give you money. Yeah, I know, right? Just throw money at me. Uh, the frequent last questions we were gonna do like little drop downs. Mm -hmm. I feel like you had a version. Mm -hmm. uh, down here, mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna grab it up real quick and pull it up. I actually really liked what you were doing here. With like, like a piece of red, or which one? Yes, or like the like open top with like a filled bottom. I don't even remember what I was doing. Was so like, yeah, I wonder if like this fill goes there, right? That it's like red. And then once you click, it goes to the white and then the fill is the black. Mm -hmm. Or do you want the fill to be red and make it like super poppy? I feel like the red was like, pretty intense to read long form copy, which is my one concern. Oh, I agree. As I much totally as agree. I like being abrasive. Yep. Oh. And then I think this type on these looks wonky. And so. I'm a beautiful children. That feels like it flows. What do you think? For now, yeah. And then we'll see what happens when we start adding it to mobile and stuff oh yeah because that might get weird i started like kicking the line down a bit so if you look at like guests on two of them i think the guest line on desktop is 20 and then mobile it's 10. oh so yeah basically everything's gonna be halved and then maybe yeah maybe guest just has like one of these for now on mobile yeah that's fair that it like keep comes it, down. Keep it super chunky. Yeah. 
<laughs> just do this and force them to not be able to actually put anything in it. Yes. So this is a cool thing uh, for those watching about XD is we can work together. Yeah, which oh. came up uh, a few months ago. It wasn't always the case, but since they've added it, it's been a game changer. It's new. So new. Okay, something I'm running into. There's a way to do this. I need to make it a component. That's what it is. Got it. Nope. It's resizing these boxes. So do you see like when I'm moving this, how those boxes get wonky? Oh, yeah, yeah. So on the right-hand side, you have responsive resize under layout. Oh, turn that's it off. I think that's making it lag. Yeah. Yep. That thing goes on by default, and I forget about it a lot. So beware. 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 Ugh. Pink elephants on parade, here they come, flippity floppity. They're here, they're there, pink elephants on parade. It's a little Disney magic for you. I need to watch more Disney movies. Yes, please it's do. It's been quite some time. Please, please do. Um, chat, it's if you're hanging out in chat, let me know where you're from, where you're watching. Um, say hello. Tonight's going to be low key. Um, and if you want to, after this stream at six o'clock, I'll be going live with Spire to talk about CancelCon, the first one, um, as well as uh, just hang out and talk about my creative process and that kind of stuff. And it will be same place right here on YouTube. You can just stick around. I'm going to take a little hour break, have some dinner. As always, it'll be at hawk.live. Um, and you can watch that along with me. And I'll say probably some stupid things. And you'll be like, Andrew, we're going to tweet about you. What was the last stupid thing you said? I don't know. I feel like I got heat for saying that logos don't matter. Um, when did you say that? I've said that a lot. I think that like, it's one of my like hottest takes that like, I'd rather have a really good system than a cool logo. Like, yeah, I just don't care about the logo usually. I mean, also to be honest, you're supposed to come up with the entire app or whatever it is you're working on. And then that helps determine what the logo should actually be. When I feel like a lot of people start with like, we need a hot logo. Yep. So while I do think they matter to a degree, it only matters based on how good your actual experience is. I agree. Jessica Reyna. Hello, New Jersey. What's up? Um, Haley Rich watching from San Jose. Um, <laughs> San Jose. Uh, <laughs> hey, Allison. Jose. San Jose. I do wish that, like, like the uh, in other languages sometimes, the, the, like the length of the word would change instead of like an accent, that it would just like you just say it faster and like that would be a part of the accent and it would, like mean something else. That it's not like yeah. San Jose. It's like San Jose. Like it's like really and they're like, oh, that's a different place actually. I mean, sometimes there's parts where like if you don't say it the right way, you definitely said something else and it could be almost speed like. Oh, that's true with like the the emphasis. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna work on putting the sponsors down here. Cool. Do you ever listen to uh, The Daily? No. Is it a podcast? Yeah, so it's a New York Times thing where it's just like at 5.30 or 6 in the morning they do a post where they just catch people up on kind of the news that's going on. That's kind of cool. But the guy who does it has a very distinct voice and way of saying stuff, similar to how like Eric Glass has a very distinct way of saying stuff. Yep. But uh, he'll do this thing where he's like, um, at the end, he'll say, what else you need to know today? Like he says today, like super quick and today. weird. And he'll be like, well, excuse me? I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I keep but making I text to. boxes because I try to like click into a text and then I like make a box on top of it. Magical. So yeah, you'll see when going into Webflow how all of this changes because you're now dealing with like padding and containers and stuff like a web designer. So that's a whole thing. I always think about whenever I go in and start working in any web thing, it like throws me back to my MySpace days when I'm like, oh man, I want to make my top eight green. And then I'm like, found the hex code for green. I know how to hack in here and change that. 
Oh, totally. Somehow, I stole the mailing list from our design. Good thing I have one down here to steal back. Oh, oh my gosh, that just popped up in the middle. Yeah, get, that, get that crap out of here. I'm working here. Shaking your fist at XD. <laughs> this <laughs> some guy it. showed up on, on my channel. <laughs> Start dropping things all over my files. Granted, that happened when they started first doing uh, collaborative stuff on different platforms. Um, people would just hop in and start like deleting things, and they had no way of you saying like, "Hey, you don't have any capabilities." Oh, that's funny. It like zoom bombing, but like with work. Totally. So I'd be like pasting things for a mood board, and someone would just come in and instead of being like, "Maybe that's not my cup of tea," they would just be like, "Deleted," <laughs> <laughs> and it's out. <laughs> All right, get some little sponsory things in here. Let's put this guy in there as well. Also, if you guys want to hang out tomorrow, 1 p.m., Nick Longo and I are going live on Behance um, with Adobe, Adobe uh, behance.net slash live, and we will be doing Office Hours, which is a portfolio review show on Adobe Live. If you want to get your portfolio reviewed, um, just go ahead and hashtag Adobe Office Hours and post it anywhere online and our team will find it and we will uh, ream you live in front of an audience of a thousand people. It's super that fun. sounds like not a lot of fun. I know, right? I, I usually try to be nice, but I had a, um, I had a kid, uh, a student, submit his portfolio to the last one. Actually, I've been mean the last couple weeks and I need to be nicer um, what are you doing? At one point, I was like, here's the deal. You like look like you're trying to sell yourself as like way better than the work is showing. Ooh. And I felt so bad. Um, was his like, name Pink Man? No. <laughs> but it was kind of a thing. And then one week, I told a kid, uh, I was like, I don't care about this work because you obviously don't either. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah. It was it was like a good reality check though. Like sometimes you need that person in your life to be like, hey, you need to like step it up. It's true. Did you ever have those teachers in school who would give one A and not? Oh, like you had to work for the one A that they would hand out. No, that is like that's a great idea though. So when I was teaching, if I would ever fail a student on like a project, I would never give them a zero because I felt like it was too easy to like write off. Like, oh yeah, I just got a zero. And so I'd give them like a three out of a hundred. Like nobody ever got a zero. It was always like you get three or like you get five because you showed up and you thought about it, but you didn't do anything. So you get a five out of a hundred. Um, and I'm like, you need to remember it. Like you need to remember how bad you did. And so I'd give them random <laughs> bad grades. <laughs> oh, so kind and loving. I try. I was an okay oh, teacher. The, uh, I talked briefly, but um, I don't know if I'm cut out for it. <laughs> Just too much? Um, no, nah, it's like, it's the amount of planning you have to do in order to actually do a good job and like be conscious. It's kind of like building a team with a company, except kind of more stressful because hopefully those people already have skill sets and you're not trying to like educate them on everything. Yes. But you're educating like 20 plus people and making sure they all get the attention they need and deserve definitely gets harder. That's true. And then like you care about some of them and you're like, dang it, I want you to do so well. And then they don't. And you're like, well, now I'm just disappointed. You failed me. I mean, I care about all of them. And I, <laughs> that it's it really is the truth. Like as a teacher, you're supposed to like love all your students. And there are so many times that I'm like, okay, there are definitely favorites. Like 100% I have favorites. Not even going to hide it. Mm hmm it's true. I'm curious, if I'm gonna add you, what would you be in a list of things? So if what do I'm you pulling mean? Zoom in, what are you? What do you mean? Are you a display? Are you a video capture? Oh, if you're adding me in? Um, I am, where am I on your screen? On Zoom, you're just doing your thing. Uh. 
in theory, I would be a display capture that you could crop in to like That's just be thinking. my part of the window. If I'm on a different monitor, you can very easily like add that as a display capture. Um, and just put me on a different monitor and you'd have to crop it in still, but it's, that's what you are. So you're on another monitor. Actually, you're on my laptop and you're coming in as a display monitor. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's kind of what I was like hoping it would default to, but alas, no, alas, no, there's eight people here. It's weird how like, like I went out throughout my day. I like went and bought stamps. I went to the grocery store and just walked and I got back and took a shower and then I was like, I'm going to push this button. And like eight people somewhere in the world are just like, oh, you pushed the button. Um, oh, was, boy. Oh, boy. He pushed the button. Um, sorry, you guys. I'm literally making fun of the people that are like tuning in and like sacrificing their time to hang out with me. No, it's um, just like a really interesting world we live in. Yeah. Period. So. I'm not making fun of you guys. I promise. Hmm. Well, come back to this. For some reason, you don't pop up. Poo. Oh, it does have trouble with Zoom sometimes. Oh, really? Yeah, if you do like a window capture instead of a display capture. Interesting. Well, I can do... How do I focus on just you on Zoom again? Um, You click and then pinpoint, I think. You can do like pin video. Oh, really? Yes. And it stays just to you. That's how my laptop is working right now. Hmm. Hello from Germany. Guten Tag. Hello. Dominique. Uh, okay, Dominique, you speak German. What does Hochrattel mean? And I know that it's like Hochrattel. Um, but what does it mean in German? I always ask my friends from Germany this. What does Hochrattel mean? Um, here, I'll type it out for you so you can see it. That's it. What does this mean in German? What's even weirder is watching one of your previous videos and just thought, I'd like to know when he's live. Immediately go to YouTube and you're live. <laughs> yes. Yes, you're like catching up on CancelCon and you're like, man, I really want like more interaction with CancelCon. That's pretty cool. And then here we are. That sweet, sweet content. Like a tree that's yeah. been tapped for sap. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna figure this out, but for some reason zooms me in whack with it. Oh well. Um, oh, what wow. are you taking your headings to? Sorry, actually, I can just grab that because I can look. What this one? Um, I was looking at the guest one. Thirty six. I, I think everything is. Yeah, I have not changed the mailing one. Okay. I'm just gonna yes. do the Q and A and see. Can I just do FAQ? Do people know what FAQ means? Yeah, you can do that. I, <laughs> I, I was kind of going the reverse, but I feel like a lot of people understand what FAQ is, but they might not know what it stands for, which is another weird thing. Oh, I agree that I would reference like an FAQ, but I wouldn't know. Like that means frequently asked questions. And <laughs> FAW, on the other hand, is not a thing, which is what I typed. <laughs> frequently asked uh, wonders. It, <laughs> they're not questions they're wonders like i don't have a question i'm just curious about this thing yeah maybe i have a candle lit on my desk and i had to blow it out because it was getting really cinnamony i do christmas candles I have your computer on fire no it isn't very much like the smallest like zone on my desk that won't set things on fire okay there's there's a candle over on the shelf back there but that i don't have to it's nowhere near my computer. It's just near all the printer paper. Oh, yeah. That seems right. So, you know. It's I'm going to try to figure out a solution to what's happening up top. What's happening up top? The, like, weird logo. Oh. Uh, sure. I'd be curious to play around with some mobile menuing stuff if we need it. Oh, but right now, got... this is just dropping you down further on the page, right? I think so. Because it's just a one pager at this point. We're not really looking to. I think hawk rattle is something like a verb. Hawk rattle, hawk rattle in. Burger, burger. And means biking uphill. Yes, that is actually what I've heard before. That it means like like high biker. People have said that it's like um, 
a person that's like riding like one of those big bicycles. Oh, like, like a high technical? up, yeah, like a like a high up bicycle. That's the technical term. Maybe someone in my family was, or biking upwards. I like that. What about biking high? I mean, that that could also be a thing. It's. Thanks, Dominic. Dominic or Dominique? Let's say Dominic. I think Dominic is probably Dominic Lunk. That is a that is like a Hunger Lunk. Games character name. That's awesome. Or like a Harry Potter character. Oh yes, Dominic Lunk. Yes, it is. It's a Harry Potter character. And then they could be called the Lunkins. Yes, I agree. Oh, uh, we also on the desktop did this thing where we were like, if you keep scrolling, it just like keeps getting more and more angry. <laughs> oh yeah. So I came back and like tweaked it slightly to make it so the stop at the bottom is just like full on width. Uh huh. Um, which I'm into. I got a weird piece of. I have these Cadbury eggs. Wait. The, like um. Oh right, Easter happened. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, like the like mini eggs, not like the full ones, and they're like my favorite snack, and they're just so terrible for you, but I love them. How big are the mini ones like? Oh, they're like small. Dang it, you're gonna make me eat another one, Logan. You have to show me. <laughs> You have to show me what they look like, and then also eat another one. I have to oh. see how your mouth chews them. Only then will I truly understand the Cadbury. Okay. So they're pretty small. I feel like I've maybe never had a mini Cadbury egg. I've only oh, ever had one. So good. Them. It's a different kind of chocolate. Like it's like the smoothest, most delicious chocolate. Well, my life is a lie. I just have a lot of Oreos now. Mm hmm. That's that's my go-to snack thing. Oh, let's do um. Oh, someone got a call. What? I heard your phone vibrate. Mine? Oh, maybe it I wasn't. Maybe it's mine. Mine doesn't vibrate. What about well, doing like this thing? Sorry, I just dropped that right on top of what you're oh doing. Oh my god. What if we did this thing in the middle there? Why is it still responsive resizing? Because everything defaults to responsive resizing. There we go. So, like, what if this we dropped in this middle thing here instead? Hmm. I see what you're dropping down. I get it. Sure, that's fine. Or do we use the one that we we've actually been using with like the double? I like this double thing. Did we make that? I forget. We did, and it was good. We made a lot of weird assets. We did. Okay. Yeah, we did kind of just go crazy, which is what I love when doing like brand stuff. It's just like, who cares? Oh, I, you're doing interesting things. Yeah, I'm playing around with what the menu would look like. So pretend this is not white. I'm assuming the menu might be an abrasive red. And then all of our page content is, is calming white. Oh, yeah. I do like when people talk about like reflex blue. I'm like, I definitely aggressive red is is a subset of reds. Oh, totally. Punching bag green. Yeah, I wouldn't it's be mad. I'm just going to move this off the page real quick. It's so beautiful, though. Could we do that without the circle? I, I literally was like, yeah. Could I backseat drive your poor decisions? <laughs> 100%. What just happened? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I deleted what? an anchor point. Oh, it just became like a lumpy egg. I know. I was like, <laughs> what, what did I push to make it? <laughs> egg filter. <laughs> what if we don't even have this thing on top? Like, it's just... Oh, my gosh. This is all grouped. Okay, let's ungroup it. Oh, my gosh. What part, what part are you looking for? Come on. Just delete. There we go. Like maybe if it went full across like that. If that just followed you throughout the whole site, so at some point or another, things would be crossed out with a black line. Like I'm not mad about that at all. Even without the bar, no, that's, that's cool. kind of cool. I like it. The cryptic nature of it all. And we don't really need the name if you're going to canceledcon.com 
think the CancelCon 2 branding is turning out even cooler than CancelCon 1 looked. <laughs> I totally agree, actually. Which I like. Wait till you see CancelCon 3. Because Cancel... Oh, can yeah, that's... Hot tip. CancelCon 3 is coming. The branding for CancelCon oh, 3 is going to be so fun. It's going to have three L's. That's the, that's the secret insider tip. But when you speak to people, you have to say canceled cock. Yes, you have to have the extra L and pronounce it. It was such a thing when it came out and people were like, canceled spelled with two L's. And I was like, not in the United States. So now we're going overseas and we're doing two L's. true? I think so, yeah. It's, it's acceptable either way. Because I've only ever spelled it with two and I was like, it's funny that we misspelled it. <laughs> <laughs> an ironic misspelling oh. <gasps> oh my gosh I just hiccuped straight into the mic and it was so Trash. loud <laughs> it was so loud oh I'm so sorry is that the kind of ASMR we're going to get oh yeah if you guys want to join us next week Logan and I are doing an ASMR stream and we are doing ASMR design and it's going to be the greatest thing you've ever heard in your life so there's, there's the idea that I was testing my mic out earlier of just like whispering all sweet positive affirmations and stuff. Yes. Into the mic, like your illustrations are just all so beautiful. That line is so straight. You're a visionary. <laughs> You're a you, Picasso. You're beautiful. You know what? Okay, I'm gonna make. A smile. I'm just gonna make another copy of this one. Oh. Did you need that? Sorry. Maybe. Needed. Oh, I did delete your thing. Sorry. I'm just going to delete it. <laughs> <laughs> and this needs to go. And this one. <laughs> this trashy. No, 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 no. I'm a big fan of. Ooh. No. Never mind. You know what? I like the dark side. Like the reds. The reds. I think the red is like super bold and fun, but the dark side doesn't look bad. This like header two thing. Like this, what's happening with like, just like the black and the white with the red in the corner. Yeah. Feels kind of, I mean, when you hit, maybe the guest list section is already dark. Is that, is that too weird? Like if we just fill this whole component in. And then those go white. Yeah. I'm not mad about that. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. So when you're scrolling through, you're going to kind of get, like, that feel. Uh, whoa. But now these got to be red. Okay. Actually, so let's I'm try that. Can you make those red and I'll make this white and we'll see if we hate it? All right. I'll, wait. Same count. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait. Okay. <laughs> One, two, three. three. Go. Uh. Oh, I like it's it. like the white stripes. Can we get Jack White to sponsor this? Maybe we can get Jack White to speak. Yeah. I kind of like them red more than anything. Yeah. We could probably do with... Oh, no. We want to show how, that we have a ton. We also are having 24 speakers. Everyone that is like, is it going to be as good as the first one? I don't know. Probably not. Don't compare us. But we're going to have a lot of speakers. Whoa. Be fun. Oh. Um, 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 um. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Um, okay, okay, do that. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is why XD is great. <laughs> so we learned, we learned that some people are actually using XD to play games because there's collaboration now. So they oh, can fun. Play, like games inside that they've just crafted themselves, which people adapt. It's cool. Yep. I, when I was in uh, middle school learning how to use um, Excel, the first thing I did was make a battleship game using the if function. And so you would like type in an X and it was like, if this cell equals X and it has a battleship, then it turns blue or it turns red. And if not, then it turns red or it turns blue. <laughs> And like me and my friends would just play Battleship on like Google Sheets. Sure did. That sounds great. No responsive resize. Oh, it's off. Okay. Bad responsive resize. I actually haven't 
used it much for anything. It's kind of like, I think it's there so you could test out things on other devices, but anytime I've, I've like tested it real quick to just see kind of what it could do, and then I'd go manually adjust it. Yeah. I'm gonna try to bring in um, an EPS real I mean, quick. One of these logos. Do I not have the one that I want? Oh yeah, I do. It's right here. Can I drag it? <sighs> you should be able to. Oh no, I zoomed in so far. Magic. Have you ever seen the sketch with Celebrity Whispers? No. Is it like ASMR with celebrities? It was like before ASMR. I think that it was um, Jimmy Fallon. And it was them like saying something. And they were like, they're like, I heard this. And then they just turned to the camera and they're like, Celebrity Whispers. <laughs> I mean, who would be your like celebrity ASMR voice? Like, who would I want to do ASMR? Yeah. Oh, there's a great cover that Scarlett Johansson does of Summertime, um, the song from Porgy and Bess, and it is gorgeous. It's on like this album that's like songs to sleep to or something, and it's like a bunch of famous people that sing like nighttime melodies. Um, nice. And she sings it on there. It's so good. So her. And she's like, she's like whispery. Yeah, sure. Also, no, no. Okay. So also, so I got I got to say it. I have a list of people that I want to read me bedtime stories because they have such unique voices. And so it's like Shakira, like Sean Paul, like, um, oh, Paul. Tr yeah, dude, Sean Paul, uh, like Pitbull is on that list. People that just what like, is, you're, what is Pitbull's like talking voice? Um, it sounds like he has like two lollipops in his mouth at all times. Oh, yeah. It's like a little like muddly. This looks very horror-ish. It does. It was fun because we got into like the like weird zone pretty fast with like, it looks like Evil Dead and it looks more Evil Dead now. Yeah, like the remake. Oh, I love Did that. Did you see a girl back here doing like the hand reach up thing? Which, here's the thing. The girl from the Evil Dead remake is also in this new show called Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist and it's like oh. Glee. I forgot about that. I've seen that show. Yeah, so it's the same girl and every time I watch it, I'm like, I can't i can't see you not Weird. being possessed by a demon like <laughs> no i did not know that and she's so cheery in the show yes to then have her like okay that's cool yeah good job her yep I, dude talk about versatility right there's something in this room with us now <laughs> i have to get out of here i mean i need to watch that Probably. movie again it's, it's so good I saw it in the theater and like it was one of the first few times I did not feel super great during it. I was like, this is making me strangely nauseous. Yeah. I was I made some posters um that are on my Instagram at hawk.co uh for some of my favorite horror movies. And one of them that was in there, so I did Hereditary, I did um Midsummer, and then I did the Neon Demon. And have you seen the Neon Demon? That's the only one you mentioned that I did not see. Okay. I hear very questionable things. It is, it is so intense and so like gratuitous in so many different ways that it like makes it a great horror movie. And it's like, is it slow in it a is, good way? Or? Yes. So it is very much like um, Hereditary where it's kind of like the slow burn and then all of a sudden hits a hundred and you're like, okay, I'm not okay now. Um, yeah. Like a hundred percent. It does that. Yeah. The latest Evil Dead is the like... only horror movie I've seen in theaters. It was an experience for sure. Wait, yes. Really? Allison. Oh, but sorry. I was yeah. reading chat. Yeah. Um, when I saw that literally like 12 people walked out like in that opening scene where, oh, really? yeah. Where it's like, she's, they're like talking or whatever. And she's like, please don't hurt me or whatever. And then, like, they set her on fire and they, like, light the match. And it's just like, your mother burns in hell. And, like, people just, like, got up and, like, walked out. They're like, mm -mm, nope, and nope, then this it is not it. And immediately goes to, like, pentagram demon book stuff. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So Neon, Neon Demon is, like, it's 
it's not chill but it's not crazy for the majority of the movie and you're like okay cool this is actually a good story it's engaging um i can't recommend it to people because it's like super dirty um like there's a lot of like really dirty stuff in it um but it's like part of the aesthetic that it's not like it's like gratuitous to the to the point where it's so gratuitous that it's like aesthetic I mean, I saw, so I love Drive. I've seen, what, Valhalla Rising, which is the same director also. Yes, so it's very, it's very, very Nicholas Winding Refn. Like, it is cool. This is definitely his movie. Because I was very bored by the other one he did that was post-Drive. I forgot what that one's called. Oh, The Place Between the Pines? No, that one's fine. Was that him? I thought so. I thought that was someone else. Oh. No, it was uh, it was with Ryan Gosling, but it was like a him being a quiet, kind of introverted seeming dude who then a lot of things happen to near the very end, but it's like really slow and boring. Okay. Yeah, Neon Demons at least like it's gorgeous and like beautiful to watch the whole time, and so you're like, okay, cool. I'm like just watching it for that, and then it starts to get like okay, now I'm invested in the characters and, like, what's going on, but it definitely is, like, a slow burn for the majority of the time. Okay. Maybe I will watch it. I just watched uh, Underwater. Oh, I need to watch that with Kristen Stewart? Yeah, it's very entertaining. Okay, I've heard that it is, like, kind of okay. Yeah, it's strangely okay. It's definitely not great, but... <laughs> I love that description. better than I was expecting. It's strangely okay. Yeah. And like when it, we watched it with friends and their immediate reaction was like, oh, she's the protagonist because everyone has very low expectations. But yeah, she's a fantastic actress. I'm trying to think of what I've seen. I feel like I saw her in something that I was like, shoot. Charlie's Angels. <laughs> Definitely not that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. Now I need to look it up. Um, where's my browser? Up Adventure here. Okay. Oh, Only God Forgives. That's what it is. Yeah, that's the one. Yep. I just remember being like very bored for most of it and then having to like kind of fast forward through parts because I was like, does this go anywhere? Yep. However, the raid two rules. Um, Twilight, that's what I was thinking of. No. I so yeah. I love Twilight. I saw every one of the Twilight movies at like the midnight premiere. How did you get into loving Twilight? I don't know. I think I went with my friends to the first one because I heard it was like a big thing, and I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? And then I'm like, oh no, I like kind of like this. And then I just <laughs> kept watching it. Afterward, were they like, man, that movie was poo poo? And you're like, yeah. Uh, no, yeah. all my friends are super into it, and so I was like, yep, I'm just yeah. gonna keep liking it. Um, I did. Oh, she was in like a French film. Does she go by Christ on um, Gosh, I don't remember what it is, but I, there's an interview, a great interview on YouTube with her and Shia LaBeouf, like interviewing each other. And it is the most interesting thing because they're both like crazy and weird in their own ways. And putting them together is like the coolest thing ever. Are they weird like Joaquin Phoenix weird? Um, not really. They're, just, they're both just very awkward. And um, Shia is very much like he knows what he's talking about so much. And but so also it, like very intense. Yes. Also very intense and like ask really good questions interesting um how do we feel about what's happening um up at the top here that i'm working on in mobile header 3 for like putting the logo up there i will look what's up interesting right because it doesn't look out of place and it kind of fits and then we like at least have something on there i wonder if can you just have the canceled con without the mark over here how so? It's like redundant, kind of. Because I'm imagining, like, once you start scrolling, this would disappear and this would appear. It's like just putting this, like, centered up there? Yeah, maybe. And then when you tap that, we might need some indication that, like, it would expand into something. But maybe. Unless we just had, like, the nav right here. Like, this nav that you're doing over here. Just like comes over and lives below it. Yeah. Maybe. Takes up some verticality, but. Yeah. 
I'm, I'm trying to see if like <clears throat> playing with this really chunky text for this stuff on a mobile might look good <laughs> or like garbage. I like that. Good or garbage. Good or garbage is a good review title. That could be a like Ebert and Roper thing. Oh, that's true. And you just like look at it and you're like garbage. Yeah. I think this is good. I think it's garbage. It's a bunch of garbage. All right, let's go get tacos. Yeah. I wish I had a cool accent. You could make one. I should. I should just make one up. And people are like, where are you from? And I'm like, everywhere. Yeah. I'm I'm worldly. Yes. I am I'll a sometimes terrible. go back to my Boston accent. That's a thing. Mm -hmm. Is that type chunkier than the last chunk? Oh. Is that chunkier than like the regular headline we're using? Uh, the one I was just doing? Yeah. No, that's that's normal for the web like desktop version. That's gorgeous. I was just seeing what it would look like on mobile if only the headers are super chunky still. I'm down with that. Yeah, because I was seeing what it looked like on mailing list and I was kind of into it. Okay, so what if maybe... Okay. What if maybe is the other show? <laughs> oh, that is a Pretty thing. Garbage and what if maybe? <laughs> Things my cat tells me at night. Oh, I want a cat. Your cat's crazy yeah. though. It's true. From what I've seen, I'm like, okay, <clears throat> well, this is a little. Today we were having a. Today we were having an interview with students. And so I have this like display case to my left that has a bunch of figures and stuff in it that I collect because I'm a nerd. But my desk when lowered, it's like she just got on top of the desk and left to try to get on top of the thing and ended up like not grabbing on because it's metal. Uh -oh. So she skittered a whole bunch, knocked over a thing, fell off, knocked over a light. It's a lot. Thankfully, the kids did not seem to care which is good i also actually like um and we'll have to play with like what the actual application is of this is hold on holding um i like what's happening with the type here how it's just like tracked in so tight that it becomes like like touching each other up in mobile header three sorry season two is canceled july 11 and 12 it's definitely bad, but I think like at some point we could use it for something. Yeah. Or if it's like doing the thing where it breaks off. Nah, it's not working. Oh no. Like how the stop was. Oh no, something went wrong. Oh, it all went back? Yeah, I'm going to have to close and uh, hold on. Did I break your system? I don't know. I think we touched the same component at the same time, so I apologize. If and I just said no. <laughs> Actually, uh -uh. there we go. Okay, we're back. Um, what button am I using? Where's my OBS? There we go. What button? Hey. Mm. Do you do multiples of eight or six? I'm usually doing six. Nope. <laughs> no bueno. There we Trump go. EX. Who really doesn't want to be on the same line as its brethren? Yeah, something, uh, making final icons in XD is, like, not the way to go from what I've experienced. I know people who do it, but just comparatively to Illustrator. Yeah, we like XD, but we love Illustrator. Ugh. I think I got it. Okay. Where yeah, are you? 
Oh, you made an X. I did make an X. Season two is canceled. I like the idea too of having like a big heading and not like just having the logo floating and then having a big heading. Or you know what? You know what? Do you know what? Do I know what? I don't. I think my music just stopped. I Um, can hear it, so everything's the same for me. (laughs) Sounds great. I think this, and then we go into the white site, and then throw into the blacks when we can. Mm -hmm. Right? And then I'll change the logo at the top to be like the fully blacked out version that we've been using, like this black and white. Whoa. Okay. It got real blurry real quick. I was going to say, why is it so huge? Blurry. I was standing at the start of this and now my legs are getting tired. I've committed. Please be seated. (laughs) That's what's going to happen. I'm going to have to come on this robotic sounding journey with me though. (laughs) This is quality content. This is what the six viewers are waiting for. Oh, that's true. The standing desk from Ikea. Yep. That's what we're all here for. Granted, if we really wanted quality content, I would bring the cat in here so she can jump on stuff. More. Just let it run, yeah. Yeah, just put her down, pat her butt, climbs all the things, breaks all the stuff, tries to eat my pens. Oops. What's happening here? Breaking. Season two is canceled as well as our mailing list. This just in. Your mom's canceled. Your dad's canceled. Your dog's canceled. (laughs) Do you like dogs? Not anymore. (laughs) Because they're canceled. Canceled con. You can just put canceled con over that anchorman moment. Where Jack Black kicks his dog off the bridge. Yes. I do, and I guess this is giving away content, but whatever. I'm going to do a double mint gum commercial as a promo for Camp Silicon because we have two L's now. And try to do the like little jingle, but it's just going to be like me on a green screen, like with myself like doing stuff. Cool. Could we, could we try to see who can blow the biggest bubble with double mint? Yes. Okay, great. The, I wonder if they could give them to sponsor us. Nothing's off limits at this point. I would love a gum sponsor. Pregumptuous of us. This feels too big. It is. I'm not even looking. <laughs> yes. Yes, I agree. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, perfectly too large. I think we can get away with three sponsors in a row. Oh, do it. So I'm trying. Our Hubis sponsors. Do it. Don't even like, don't even like tell me just like do it. Just like, man, if you're going to like do it, like just do it. Okay. I have (laughs) permission. Tis done. Like if you're going to send it like full send, bro. (laughs) This is just what the boss likes to hear. Just send it. Just send it. I don't want to review nothing. I it's good. I did have a client. We had like a client meeting. Um, which if you're not following me on Behance, follow me on Behance. I'm doing a series right now where I'm walking through a branding project from start to finish with a client. Um, I presented stuff and they were like, it still feels like it's like a little safe. Like let's do something that's like a little more crazy. And I'm like, oh boy, don't say those words to me because you're gonna get something that you're not gonna like. (laughs) It's gonna get real crazy. And is that what's happening now? Uh, it hasn't quite gotten there. Uh, the ideas that I have are definitely going to be like, Andrew, we need you to calm down. But okay. I think in general right now, it's still kind of chill. What's the uh, what's the product? Oh, so it's a church in uh, Northern California in Folsom. 
Uh, they haven't rebranded in probably 15 years. And so it's very like kind of old, um, like it looks super dated. And so we're just trying to update and make it more relevant to a young family audience. That makes sense. So strobe lights, fog machines. Yes. Okay, great. All the tropes. We love tropes. Really fun things to say on signs to really get people interested. Yeah, they're like just a little sassy, but on a t-shirt. Oh, yeah. My, uh, one of my favorite ones that when we first moved to Asheville was one of the churches had a thing outside that said, I thought Ariana Grande was a type or a font. Oh, yeah. I was like, there you go. That's not even talking about anything. That's just you saying a thing. Yeah. I like those church signs. I wanted to put one of those in my uh, room at one point when I worked at the church down here. Uh, we redesigned, we like got to design our own offices and I pushed so hard to have those like movie marquee, like above all the offices and they put them in and then like the different groups we put up, um, like Disney quotes. So nice. like the creative department had like, it's falling with style and like the like groups department was like, I want to be where the people are. Um, and like counseling was like, just keep swimming. And so it was, yeah. As opposed to like, I collect trash. Exactly. Yep. I don't have legs. I don't, <laughs> I don't have legs. <laughs> This still feels a little too big. Let's just bring it down here a little bit. My old office that I worked at, all the uh, rooms were named after Star Wars planets. Nice. So when you like book a room, it was like Endor or Coruscant or Gavin. I know, me too. I know, it getting super yawny. Yanny. I think we're getting no, close with this mobile it. version. Oh, get wrecked, noob. I think we're getting close with this mobile version. How do you feel about it? Yeah. I think uh, I'm going to just keep going down if you want to keep toying with that top part. Yep. Um, oh, you know what? Let's try this. Let's just whisper into the mic. What if that second S was a Z? <laughs> Season. Season too. I think the fans love that. I definitely think fans love that. Do we have? Are there fans of Cancel Con? I mean, we got groupies. That's true. There are people that tuned into a, a random stream on a Thursday. <laughs> I love you, be love you guys. <laughs> Why am I so mean to the chat? I don't understand. Well, it's like that thing where. Someone who like wants to date someone, but is just like shy. And so they kind of make fun of them. Yes. They don't know how to navigate the waters of a relationship. Maybe it's like that. We'll figure this out together. Okay, I hate that. I thought this could be cool and it's not. Ouch. Burn on yourself. I can't believe it. Do I, do I redact this top part? Redact. Redact. That's with the like yeah. cross outs. Whoa, I did not want that border. Too late. Too much. You made your choice. Oh, what's that from? Really. You've made your uh, choice. Make your choice. It's make your choice. What is it? I <laughs> just imagine if you put it in Lion King when he's like Scar, like lets him go. Yes. You make your choice. <laughs> or maybe the prince gets to Cinderella and just says, You made your choice and walks away. Ooh, ice cold. <laughs> I love you. Thanks. Credit <laughs> roll. <laughs> cool one. All right, I do like it crossed out. I want a sassy. So Disney's like all worried about their princesses, but why isn't there like a sassy gay prince? <laughs> that could be fun. I don't know if they'll ever touch that, but it would be <laughs> fun. Um, do we need navigation? Sorry, I'm like working on the top thing. Do we not need like really. it's there's not enough info to be like you need to navigate? No, I was trying to figure out. This is why I'm leaving it to you where 
having something, maybe that top one just brings you back to the top. Like this header one thing. Oh yeah. Maybe tap that, or if you have this red thing, stick with you. Is that the same height? You got 90, I'm rocking 70. But like, when you scroll down and we could imagine this canceled kind of like, whoop, and then it just becomes- Oh yeah, it just whoops in there, yeah. Whoop, whoop. It could totally whoop. Yeah, and it'll make that noise. It's like, yeah. Whoop. Sounded a lot like some guy. It was. I definitely want a mod of like Photoshop that, um, oh, I need just those things. A mod of Photoshop that just has sound effects. Like everything you do like is like some guy, like the eraser tool is just like. Yeah, I think uh, you've mentioned this before and I'm totally down with it. I love things like Zelda and stuff too, which have weird voices. Oh, so yeah. If you can, like, hey! When the tutorials pop up, it's like. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I'm sure it'll help translate information way better. There's music playing over here. It's. Okay, um, you're resorting to beatboxing. Yes. I have an audio subscription. It's like this website. Um, dang it that does like royalty free music or whatever that's like cleared for YouTube. And it's like, uh, some of it's actually really good that I'm like, yeah, I actually like the song. But then a lot of it is like, like the stupid crap that's like, oh, this is literally just stock music. And this is one of the songs that's like, this is the most stock that it possibly could be. Yeah, like an elevator music thing. Yeah, or something that's just like, it's a video of like people that are like running and happy. And you're just like, yep, this is it. I feel like that was the joke for like every ad when the Lumineers came out. You have that like hand clappy yes. music. It exactly was like a Lumineer song that was playing, like a hundred percent. Yeah. Oh, and that's sad music. <laughs> Which is really the best for free streaming music. Yep. There's one song that I actually like, but everything else is like, this is just so there isn't dead space. Did you hear that? Uh, I think it was This American Life or something where this guy heard, maybe it was Reply All. The guy heard like a song on a wait tone, like when he called up somewhere and they're like, hold, and then the hold music. He was like, wait, I love this. I have to find out what it is. And he like dug until he did. That's awesome. Yeah. That is passionate commitment. Passion. Is that like Sean Connery saying passion? Passion. passion. <laughs> this is the song that I like. It's a bop, as the kids say. Again, kids bop. Kids do bop. I need you to calm down. Have you seen that video of the kids bop mom? No. So this is a video of this mom and she's like mad at this uh, woman in another car. She's like, you cut me off or whatever. And she's like yelling in the window and the lady's like, calm down, ma'am. You need to calm down. And then it's like, no, you need to calm down. You need to calm down. And then they're like, ma'am, like, don't like swear to us or whatever. Like your kids are right there. And she looks back and she goes, I can say what I want because my kids are in the car and they're listening to kids bop. <laughs> it's the most random encounter. Bad. And she's like, no, no, no. You don't understand. This is what kids love for. I can't I'm gonna say delete either. mobile header two just because we're not going to do a hamburger menu. Oh yeah, go for it. Just trying to keep things clean. This is a family operation. I have so many stamps on my desk. Oh, I'm going to do this for the six people that are watching or like the literally no one that's going to actually watch the entirety of this. So I just launched another project called Zealzine. Projects by Hawk.co. Um, it's uh, called Zealzine and it's here. And it's a magazine that is about community for this issue. 
Um, it benefits the project for public spaces in New York. They put art in public spaces and uh, create places for people to build community. So it's cool art. You can buy one. Um, go to the site, click on purchase issue, and you can buy the first issue. It's only $15. Um, and all of the money is donated to the Project for Public Spaces in New York. So you can do some good and get some cool art. Um, it looks really good. And here's what it looks like. It's real. I have them all in my bedroom. Wow, look at this cool art. That's Look at oh, so much art. Ah, art. So yeah, do that. So much. All right, how are we feeling? Good. Are you? Where did you go? Oh, you're down here. Oh, it does look better with three. You're a hundred percent right. That's looking. Kind of looks like a nationality flag thing. Maybe you're right. It's just it all looks like Japan. <laughs> the different phases of Japan. Yeah, this is this in is the 2020. Japanese, like, <laughs> it very much is like something that would be like an investigative like documentary that you'd see like at Disney World. <laughs> Yeah, they uh, what is it, Kumo, Kumamoto or whatever his name is? It's like a bear who's like the national mascot. That's awesome. And so he was the original one, and then every year they like have a calling where people submit who they want to be the mascot, and they like vote on it. So each year gets a new mascot. Heck yeah! Like we need more of that. I agree. All right, sponsors. I'm okay with it wrapping. How do you feel? I just like the cheese. I'm not mad. I like it. I want everything to be large and yelling. But also quiet and contemplative. Oh, man, I want like a little subhead. It's like, we'll keep you up to date on who's getting canceled. And then like, there's a little subhead that's just like, it's probably Cameron Diaz. You could have, maybe that's the, uh... I don't. I don't want to put people on blast. I just don't like Cameron Diaz. What, what reason? I don't know. Like, I just don't. I think that part of it is she played Miss Hannigan in, like, that Annie movie that they made. And I was just, like, so mad that she was playing Miss Hannigan because I was like, no. And then I've just not liked her since. I feel like I have very... non-strong opinions about her. She's just another actress. We should not have... Uh, FAQ redacted out. Let's do it. It looks bad. It does look bad. <laughs> I was like, the the way that it's like taking out how the Q look is not doing great things for us. Know. Poor choices. Looks very, that Q looks so Star Wars -y on its own. It does. What font are we, are we using? Dunbar? Yeah, it's all Dunbar. That one's tall and ultra. I need to um hit that guy up. I keep forgetting like what his name Mark. is. Mr. The guy Dunbar. who made it. You know what? I think he might have just like emailed me like right now. Well, like earlier today. Because he heard you talking about his font? Maybe. Oh, thanks for subscribing person um if you are not subscribed to this channel click that sub button i'm trying to get to a thousand so smash that sub button don't ring the bell don't ring the bell because i never want to like i never want to notify you it's just annoying there's a there's a bell yeah there's a bell that you can push and it like sends you an email when the person or like a notification when the person's live and i'm like that's so annoying uh i mean I can see how that's... I know Twitch has it and stuff. Oh, your side's looking good. Oh, thanks. Oh, yeah, I need to write the content for, like, what the FAQ is going to have. Yeah, maybe that's your next chore so we can see if the... Uh... Gross. All right, I'll go over to that um, and just leave your screen up there. <laughs> go right in shame. I know, right? I'm the answer keeper. What did I do up here? 42? Okay. I mean, I thought it was 48. 
What's behind you now? Oh, it's the Millennium Falcon on Zoom. You guys can't see it on the actual Is stream, but speed? yeah, on what? Yeah, I'm going. Yeah. Okay, because to me it looks a lot like a bunch of fish in an aquarium. I'm in an aquarium. There's one like on the video. Thanks, person who liked this. We're not that bad, maybe. Is canceled con free? CancelCon is an event that is open to everyone with a $50 suggested donation. With a required payment of $500. Um, uh, is there a Maybe the mobile version of the fax can have a very weird interaction. Let's see if it's too weird. Getting the yawns again. Why have you forsaken my awakenedness? What other questions oh. should we have on here? So I have, is CancelCon free event? Where can I watch the event? Um, how can I help? Yeah, that seems that like, how can I get involved? Yep. Um, how do I ask questions or speak to the speakers? Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe. Can I help promote the event? Yes, exclamation mark. <laughs> A thousand times yes. Is the moon made of cheese? Maybe. Oh yeah, what's the one... That's just the answer. Did Carol Baskin kill her husband? Me? Yes. <laughs> oh, we just have that on there. Um, I'm trying to think of something that is like conspiracy theory. Oh, we should totally put like, do aliens exist? And then the answer is like, well, I guess, yeah. Did you see like yesterday that the Pentagon like released like footage of like UFOs that they're like, this is declassified now. And it's just like weird flying yeah. stuff. And then you could hear Mulder and Scully shuffling. Yes. Finally That's an answer. Good conspiracy theory. What was the second? Oh, no, I know what I'm going to do. What is the perfect date? April 25th, because it's not too hot. It's not too cold, and all you need is a light jacket. Have you ever seen Miss Congeniality? I don't know if I've seen a full one, but I've seen parts of one. Okay, so there's a thing where they're doing um, like the pageant, and it's like the questions, and it's like, describe your perfect date. And then he like holds the mic, and she's like, April 25th, because it's not too hot, it's not too cold, and all you need is a light jacket. And then, like, smile. <laughs> That's fair. Right. I... That's going to be on our Q&A. Did they make a second one? I think that there might be a second miscongeniality. I think maybe. I don't know if I had, like, a fever dream or something. Not that it's important, but... I'm trying to find like the actual quote. Oh, cool. 
Uh, on my end, Ryan Selby says they watched Miss Congeniality this weekend because it was April 25th. Yes, uh, it's like a thing. And yes, they made a second one. Thanks okay. for the update. <laughs> I thought so, yeah. What is she getting? Like, how? No spoilers, but how did she get into the position she's in? Like, where she's like a cop? Yeah. Um, she had to go undercover to like find out something about I think like the people that like run the pageant okay I haven't seen it in so long I need to rewatch it yeah maybe okay, that's cool. your weekend this weekend yep this is a, yeah okay so this is gonna be yes yeah, so if there's any other Sandra Bullock updates you need oh I don't know I didn't like her for a long time and I like I do now what do you call the same with Hillary Swank Bullock? Sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, what do you call a Sandra Bullock fan? Are they like Bullocks? I guess. That sounds terrible, but yeah. I know. <laughs> I mean, like, I'm sorry for you guys, but yeah. Okay. Um, is Canceled Con free? Canceled Con's an open event with a $50 suggested donation um, and completely free for students. Um, okay. Where can I watch the event? You can subscribe and watch on YouTube. Bunch of bullets. How okay. can I get involved? Sign up for our email list and help promote using our open source branding. Our, our mess of an open source branding. Yeah. <laughs> our shapes so you can do whatever you want with. It is it's going to be very interesting to watch how people use that stuff. Okay. I wonder if I can contact the guy that made Dunbar and see if he wants to be like listed as a sponsor. Cause that'd be cool. I use it on like one of my your... Adobe live streams and he was like, dude, thanks for using Dunbar. And I was like, heck yeah. Oh really? Yeah. That's cool. What are his fans called? Dunbar. They called Dunbos? Yes. <laughs> If you just add Ian's to anything, it sounds like a Star Trek race. Dunbarians. <laughs> the sacred Dunbarians. <laughs> um, can I help promote the event? Yes, we have open source branding that's available in our creative cloud folder. Can we describe our perf our idea of a perfect date? That's a tough one. I'd have to say April 15th. Okay, cool. You're not, you're not going to do the whole... Oh, no, I'm doing the whole thing. Oh, okay. I don't say April 15th because it's not too hot. It's not too cold. All you need is light jacket. Okay. What other things? Chat. Do you have any other questions about canceled con? What did? I, what, oh, will they be available to view after? So many freaking people ask me that. And yes. Yeah. Oh, my followers. Oh, also, Ryan, do you have a good recommendation for how to include a zoom stream into my view so people could see Andrew because I could not find an easy way on OBS to do that however I don't know what my name would be what would you call your fans oh, I don't know like hawk hockeys Hocketeers. Hocketeers. It's definitely Hocketeers, I think. Hockeyan sounds weird. Hockalaka. I was. Um, so, like, I played basketball, and this is, like, a little more of a story. My whole family says hook rattle. Like, hawk rattle happened when I moved to Southern California. And so everyone else says hook rattle. So I grew up being hook rattle. And, um, like, when I played basketball, my sister and I played basketball, which is my sister's birthday. Happy birthday, Ashley. Oh, cool. Um, it uh we were like captain hook because we were both captains of the basketball teams so they be hookers that was what they called my me and my sister for a little while okay and then we were like well maybe it's hawk rattle now what yeah hawk hawkers no they that sounds weird hawked. hawks hawk.co's There are seven people in chat. Chat, say hi. It's been a while since anyone's talked to us. 
No cool. I think that that's the yeah. FAQ. I'm just going to plug in content just so we have it here. Yeah, slap it on in here and we'll see if it can make any sense of what I'm doing. Where are you working? Are you still working on that same one? Uh, yeah, I'm just down below. I was adding the OK Stop stuff while you were doing what you were doing. <laughs> you important things. Turn your dream into a nightmare phantasmic. Well, it sounds like it. Squarespace's statement. Turn your dream, <laughs> Let's into, turn your dream into a nightmare phantasmic. Yes. Pay us to make your dreams a nightmare. Man, I've been so dandruffy lately, and I don't know what it is. Like, maybe it's my I allergies. I need to cut my hair off again. I was—I yeah. think I'm going to shave between this and my next event. Also, yeah. hi, if you're just joining us, eight people who are here now. Uh, look at people, Marissa, Allison, hello. Um, I'm going live at 6 o'clock with Spire right here, same link, hawk.live. We'll be talking about the first cancel con and a lot of my creative process. Um, and I'll sing for you guys. I'm going to sing a, almost a full song uh, at the end awesome. of that stream. We're going to talk about like inspiration and advice that I have. And the best advice that I can give is from this song by Stephen Sondheim from Sunday in the Park with George. It's called Move On. And it's about like making creative decisions and like not worrying if it was the right one or the wrong one of just like making the decision, which I think is important that's very creative directory of you yeah and thank you ryan i see i see your response i will i'll be playing with that a bit later to do it via uh, getting your face on this oh i love my face i yeah. didn't for a while and i do now because i'm positive well i'm glad I do like my eyebrows. I think I have really good eyes and I have really good eyebrows. And that's about as far as I get on like positivity. <laughs> my eyebrows are killer. They usually are better, but my eyebrow person, obviously we can't go do eyebrows now. Very fair. I don't have an eyebrow person. I feel like I want your mustache to be your eyebrows. Like I want you to just copy and paste your mustache to where your eyebrows are. Yeah, exactly. Well, someone wants to take a screenshot. Um, <laughs> that that can happen. That can happen. Yeah, I'll wait until the next round of stream to uh, correct my video issue with Andrew's existence. We have another stream on Wednesday, so at that point, I'll get your face in here. Oh yeah, we're also streaming next Wednesday. We're doing an ASMR stream. Um, I might have to shrink the type on these a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. I am starting to see how the uh, actual size of things is starting to look because I made all the like border things five pixels anyway. So these were at 10, which is way more chunky than they need to be. There's a baby screaming in the background. So if you guys hear that, it's um, it's because there's a child going to bed. Is it like a raising Arizona situation? What? Like raising Arizona, you yes. Just had to take the mayor's child. Yep, it is putting the lotion on its skin, or else it gets the nap again. <laughs> that's what I want. I want like somebody to do a YouTube video that's like horror films, but like with a baby, and it's all just like like parents. <laughs> I mean, Chucky's pretty close. Saw's pretty close. That's true. Except if your kid was making the like jigsaw voice. Granted, if he was making the Chucky voice too, that would be bad. But man, I love, 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 love the Saw movies so much. Which one's your favorite? Um, I think it's the second or third one with the needle pit. Okay. Um, that was the one that was like, "Yep, this is." This is the zone. They're just so creative. Yeah, I feel like someone just has to have like, if they're sleeping and they have a dream and one of those dreams is a saw situation, they just wake up and take notes. Yes. They're like, hold up. This needs to be recorded. Wait a minute. I have important needle like things to write down. It's canceled kind of free event. 
Actually, I'm gonna wait till you do that one and then we can just replicate it for the others. I was trying to follow along like as you went and I was like, this isn't. Yeah. I think that's like the weight that could work. I agree, that feels okay. And then it would click and open up and I feel like that would be fine. Yeah, I'll, I'll design one that's open if you have. Um... And I'll uh, change the other ones to match. How dare you? Oh, and I'll drop in the copy. So I'll just do the, where can I watch? Or I'll do the free one and just drop the copy in so you can place it. Slap it. Oh, actually, I don't want to do that because there's a secret in that one. Um, yeah, drop me a not secret one. Yep. I do like, like, my whole approach to, like, content right now is, like, everything's open. And, like, you can just see everything and be a part of my process. And then there are, like, certain things that I'm like, ooh, but that also is still a secret because I don't want people to steal it. That one tells me what kind of toothpaste you use and no one should know that silence of the babies <laughs> doc <laughs> reed hi doc what's up doc come hang out at my next talk um i would love to have you in there i think you're great um do that doc's such a good uh, illustrator logan like i know you know that but like honestly it's true i am a i'm a big fan of docs and he should do this stream with me or us in the future as oh, well. Oh, we should do the that one idea that's also secret that I don't want people stealing the content for. Um yes. the like the <laughs> the other secret one. You know what I'm talking about? Um yeah. that would be really fun with Doc and you actually. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of potential in a lot of things. Is this the is this the copy? Sign up, volunteer, blah blah blah. Yeah. Okay. Um, that yeah, is for, for how do I get involved, which I have not made yet. <laughs> Hold on. Right. I can copy that. How can I get involved? In there you go. Oh. oh, it's so beautiful. Oh my God, this container is so big. I do not need all of it. Oh, you just did. G give me, give that back. Nope. Ah. And you're doing the how can I get involved, right? Yeah, with your copy slap. I'll just be like way down here. Copy yeah. slap. <laughs> copy slap. That's a, that's a good shirt. Copy Working slap. on figuring out OBS. Use Streamlabs. Use Streamlabs OBS. Also referred to on the internet as slobs, which I think is great. Yeah, like S-L-O-B-S, Streamlabs. And I'm like, yes, please call it slobs all the time. Um, so you Streamlabs, Doc. I can help you set it up. Yeah, I I was using Streamlabs and I'm using OBS. There's there's a lot of them out there. They're very similar in a lot of ways. There's just some like configuration differences. Yep. From what I mean. This should not be italic. Yeah, I'll be live on Behance for an hour at some point, probably tomorrow. Um, I'm going to be working on that church project some more. They want to explore a crazier idea. And so I'm going to do like some type treatments that I scan like through a box of water that is like rippling and then like treat it with gradient maps and see if that is like a cool thing. <laughs> That sounds fun. Right? It sounds like it could be cool. It's, I feel like it's going to get too edgy for them real fast, but. I mean, it's a learning experience. Yeah. And that's the thing. I think that we've like hit a point where I'm like, I think that we have a concept that is probably where we should go, but they want to see like, oh, what if we were like a little more like, like pushed the envelope a little bit. And I'm like, I think we can, but I don't know how far we want to for a. How far can you send that envelope? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's like a. Folsom is not the most like provocative, like push the future area. So, oh, that got really bad. What my thing? Yeah, it got weird. Wait, it got like so me? thin. Oh yeah, do you want to all do hairline for everything? I'm sorry, anyone with it's anything. like ASMR of the text. It's like yes. sign up, volunteer. Sign up, volunteer. We're just very passive about our opinions. 
How are you scanning with water? Um, I'm not sure yet. I'm thinking that I'm going to like make a little, um, like use like a clear storage tub and then put that on the scanner and then <laughs> pour water in it and scan it while the water is going. We'll see. I, it's a very much a hands-on experiment. I'll stream it at some point if I can. Um, and then next week, I'm actually having the client on to pitch that idea to them and get like live feedback on Behance, which would be really fun with like an actual client. And scary. What? And scary. I'm not really scared of them. Like it's been it's been pretty good. So like I told them that I'm streaming, and I'm like literally you can pop into the live stream and give me advice and thoughts at any point. Like I, I'm not tailoring the pitches. I'm not holding any cards. Like you can literally design over my shoulder and they've been pretty good about it. We've been having some good client meetings where it just turns into like, that's really cool. How about we try this? But they're a client we've been working with for a while. So I don't feel stressed by it or like yep. annoyed by the backseat driving. It's just like opinions that I'm more than happy to adjust. Yep. Also, Ryan's very into the idea of a, uh, Behance AMS, ASMR. Yes, so. it's happening next week. Um, how are you scanning water with a fish tank? Yeah, a fish tank would be great. I need to probably buy one and invest in it and see what I can do. Um, can you just get a translucent like Tupperware container? Yes. Oh, that's true. I could just get like a glass, like um, baking, like a brownie thing. Yeah. Or like, what if you like super manipulate it and have Ziploc filled with water in water? Oh, you know what? I could literally just fill a big Ziploc with water, like a thin layer of water, and then scan through that. Like, just set that on yeah. the scanner and then put whatever on top. Yeah, that could like be cool. It a little bit, too. Yeah. Folding, kind of. Is it going to be a late night stream for the client meeting? It will be, yes, uh, 8 to 10. Mark Bowden, what's up, dude? It'll be 8 to 10. Um, I think closer to 8 on Tuesday. I'll post about it um, on my Instagram and it will be recorded. It'll be up there as well. Um, but I think that'll be really fun. It'll be 8 to 10 on my Behance at Hawk.Live, um, which I'm going to build that out into an actual site so you guys can see all the things because I'm streaming so much. Um, so it'll be a little more organized. Hi, Mark. If you're not doing anything right after this, come hang out. 6 o'clock. We're doing another another talk with my friends at Spire. I almost forget you're done. I'll be talking with my words. Okay, I'm going to start right. pulling elements over onto the one on the right where, like, we had the header and top section. The mobile one? Yes. Go for it. Just don't grab the stuff I'm grabbing or else it'll break everything. XD's not that smart yet. really have to space out the stop okay stop stuff enough that someone's gonna like scroll properly through it to really discover yep how long how long should they scroll between okay stop and stop i mean like i like the gr gratuitousness of it is i'm i'm literally fine with making it like really horrible okay great horrible is coming here at design studio we promise you horrible we're going to make it Guaranteed. bad. <laughs> and then we make it worse. Oh, right. I forgot this white was a layer and not just the background of the artboard. There is a great um, YouTube channel. I need to make this red. Uh, there's a great YouTube channel. And I don't remember who it is. But there is. And I don't remember what the context is. But there is a quote where like, this person is telling a story. And they're like, but why would you do that? And they like turn around and they go, because sometimes things that are more expensive are worse. And like, <laughs> that's the whole thing. And that quote is always stuck in my head. It's not wrong. Sometimes things that are more expensive are worse. Oops. I lost you done for a moment there. I'm down. Yeah. What's up, Mark? Mark Bowden. Mark Bowden. That's a song that I wrote for you, Mark. I thought that was you trying your like accent thing. Oh, I grabbed the entire artboard. Did you just do that too? No. Oh, okay. What did you do? I like grabbed like the white part of the background as well. Yeah. Wait. No, I sent something to the back, and it went behind what I thought was the artboard. Ah. So then I had to like 
go search for it. It happens. It's a thing. Do we, because we've been using like the black as well as the gray, do we just push the grays to like full black? I think the answer is yes. Why can't I zoom out? Oh, it's reconnected. Oh no. What did you do? What did you do? What did you do? Oh, we're experiencing something together. What's that like? Hey, reconnecting after so many years of not talking. I know. Time to check our Instagrams <laughs> and talk to chat. Hey, chat. It's time to do ASMR things with this paper. Are you getting the tickles? What? A paper flipping. It's like I'm reading a book with pages. Oh, oh there are two of you in here now. Oh, really? Yeah. Wait, there's two of you. One's yellow. Oh, the other one disappeared. Oh, there's still two of you. Ooh, I, I made it. Um, apparently that artboard's cursed. So are there um, six facts in total? What are you saying? Oh, knuckle facts? cracks in ASMR. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Hold on, let me pause the music. Wait, what are you doing? I'm going to crack my knuckles real quick into the Ooh. mic. Um, Let me make sure my volume's turned like way up. Okay, it is. Okay, let's turn the gain all the way up. Let's see. Do I get louder here? Yeah, I do. Damn okay. Louder. Can you hear me more intensely? Yeah. Okay, hold on. I'm not angry. There we go. Oh, my fingers aren't cracky. I might be able to get a knuckle. Oh, yeah. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. It's weird. It's definitely weird. It's not like gross, but it's it was definitely weird. It's certainly not a typical ASMR sound. They just come out and they're like, we're going to crack backs. Uh, have you seen the videos it. of people doing it with pasta? They put like a piece of pasta in their mouth. And then they're like, hey, can you like help me like crack? Like my neck's like super sore. Oh, really? And they have somebody like do it and they bite the pasta. And the person's like, oh my gosh, what happened? So the first time I went to a chiropractor, which is not very long ago because I was so scared of them. I only saw those videos where people would be lying there. And then the person would come up, wrap the towel around the head and do the like. Yes. Oh, and then the, yep. you hear the snap and the person yeah. would be like, oh, I feel perfect now. And I'm like. I think I might just die. Yeah. I think you died and that's why you feel better. Right. Okay. Um, I think we're good. Thanks, Ryan. I think, I think cracking knuckles and stuff might have a following too. I agree. Okay. Do we want to, I changed the order a little bit and I don't like it. Um, and yes, chiropractors freak me out too. Mine was thankfully very nice and did not kill me. What? Oh, I'm just going to take out the top of yours and then put my top in there. But I like my top. <laughs> oh, do you? Sorry. No, you can you can do whatever. Um, my top's the one that you goofed with, right? With like the vertical bars thing? Yeah, that one. So I'm replacing it with the like header thing up here mm -hmm. with like the white. Mm-hmm thoughts what, what, when you actually submit a joint mailing list they do the 007 thing with the blood trickle down from the red it gets a like, really like rocky horror picture show so it like walks out michael randy was ill and Andy, what's happening oh as you as you start typing it goes and yes and then until you hit join mailing list then it'll say patient that's a great idea and then we'll get sued by someone yeah i'm fine People have threatened to sue me before. Um, okay. I know you're famous. I know, right? Uh, so wait, are these all the facts? These are all the facts. Yes, there are only like five, I think, yeah. Okay.
I just cracked my back. Gross. Talking about cracking stuff, I know. Oh, I have to hop off in like 10 minutes. Yes, Rocky Horror. Yes, I agree. Oh, yeah. Time like very much flew by. It is flown. I also have to eat dinner. Oh, what's food? Okay, let's decide on maybe the <laughs> final. I know, right? <laughs> I've got candy near me and pretzels. You could just make a bowl of those eggs and call them. Oh, gosh. Cat an berry. omelet? It's just like chocolate. Oh, You're like, God. it's an omelet. Oh. <laughs> Wait, can we make can we make a Cadbury omelet where you would just try cracking Cadbury eggs into a <laughs> oh, It sounds so <laughs> gross. I hate that. Immediately. Yes, Allison, I've been to a couple Shadow Cast shows. They're really fun. And you like yell and be super rude and throw toast at the screen. It's my favorite. What is going on with this double line one? Do we? I know, yeah. I knew a lot of people in art school that went to them. And they were like the people who also were part of the performance. Yes. So I would just see them randomly dressed up walking around. And I'm like, I guess tonight's the night that you're doing that. Yep. <laughs> tonight's the Rocky Horror Night where you do the thing. It's such a weird question. Can we describe our idea of a perfect date? Yeah, we can. Now that I know the context, I will be suited to answer this question. You know what? Uh, mm. You sound like you hate it. No, sorry. I'm looking at the top again. And you hate it. I don't hate it. I like it more. That's why I'm like... Oh. Surprise twist. All right, I'm going to mess around with it some more. What time is it? Okay, I can't mess around with it too much. Not too much. Uh-oh. What did you do? Oh, no. <laughs> did you break it again? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, there we go. We fixed it. Oh, no. No, 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 it's still going. I'm going to do different ASMR now. That's a good one. Only good because it's empty. What? <laughs> just... just like eating. And just get stuff. a live octopus and make it hug it. Okay, so let's, instead of keep it canceled, let's have this say season two is canceled at the top and then see so I'm the kind of person I'm tempted to shower between now and my next talk like I just want to be clean all the time that's fine I showered before this because I came from running I I don't know what that is um running yeah, it sounds exhausting, and I think I hate it. <laughs> yeah. I was watching Terrace House while running, so. Oh. Just a bunch T of really nice, polite Japanese people. Oh, I thought you said Terrorist House, and I was like, what show is that? Terror Home. Terror Home. It's like punk, but you live with Ashton Kutcher. <laughs> <laughs> it's like punk, but you live with. Yes. Which Where's our two color? Attack. What? There it is. I was just looking for um, the two color version of the logo. Isn't it only ever two colors? Uh, no, there's the one color that it's all just black. Oh, <laughs> right? Or we're kind of just like, yeah, there's no rules. There's also this one that no one can read. What is happening? Why is this logo so huge? <laughs> Thank you. 
See, like there's too much of this red space. How do I get rid of it? Where? You up above? Yeah. There's too much red space going on with all this. Um, like there's too much negative space at the very top. Like down here? Like, uh, all of this needs to go. Why? Well, first, the this little thing is where it's actually going to get cropped. So I would probably center this a bit. Because also, if you look at it on a phone, it's going to be real wacky. Oh. So like here, it might look weird, but kind of similar to how at the bottom, I have like a lot of spacing between stuff. Yeah. Because when you're scrolling, if you condense stuff really closely, you're just going to see like stuff almost touching. And you're like, I scrolled through the site in a matter of seconds. Um, so I'll do this. I think it's fine having it. Yeah. Because we still want the mailing address stuff like above the phone fold. Um, and then some breathing room for this little mission statement thing. Yeah. Um, which we could actually add more padding. And this is all stuff that like when going to Webflow, I'll probably end up really teasing out. Yeah. As long as we add everything in like order. This feels good. Like I think the flow of this site feels fine. It feels perfectly canceled. It does. I think we did it. Yeah, I think we're pretty much there. Okay, do There's you want to call this our final? Sure. There's like a little bit of tweaking I might do down with like the back realm, but it's like minor and it'll work itself out. Oh, you don't like this. I forgot. I hate everything. What? The pinkness that I do where I put like the hot pink above the one that is. Like, uh, I mean, it certainly draws my attention, so you should keep doing it. Let's do that hot blue. That's more palatable. All right. Did yes, this one. <laughs> oh wow. Wait, yeah, hold on. Just leave that. And we'll just oh, wait, hold on. Dang it. Yep, now there's no mistaking it. Now we know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is fantastic. All right, I'm going to go eat food and then get ready for the next stream. Um, if you are here and you're hanging out, I'm about to go live with Spire in an hour from now. So go take a shower, get dinner. Um, I'm going to go live with Spire. We'll be talking about Canceled Con 1, a bit of my creative process, and kind of just hanging out. So um, stick around for that. Uh, Logan, are you going to keep streaming on Behance? Uh, I don't think tonight, but Saturday morning I will be doing one with Shauna. Oh, uh, fun. We're just going to have coffee and draw together uh, what the subject is. Don't totally know, but we caught up a little bit today, and it would just be nice to catch up more. And then I'm going to try to do three a week. So cool. this is the first week where some like testing and stuff is going to keep happening. But then next week, I'm going to, I already have three scheduled. So I'm going to do something with Alex. Um, oh, yeah, Lazarus. Alex Lazarus. Yep. Yep. And then something with Voodoo Val. And I'll probably try out fresco next week so more to oh, come on like sunday i'll probably post an updated schedule for that stuff but i've not tried fresco streaming yet and i'm very curious as to how that functions so sweet um and if you guys want to you can follow me right here um and you can follow logan up there <laughs> uh and we'll be posting updates of when we're going live what's going on and what the hottest uh new trend in town is yeah. um cool Mine are up there. Other way. I just switched over to myself. Oh, oh. I mean on mine. Yeah. Oh yes. <laughs> um, sweet. Well, thanks for hanging out, everybody. Um, and I will talk to you later. Bye bye. Bye.